中。So today I have my March favorites and I know March has gone by just super quickly and it's already like April 13th or whatever but that's totally fine and I'm going to do my favorites video for you guys because I don't like missing these videos and a couple of people I watched still had theirs up late so I was like why not and I was very sick so I didn't really get to film when I was sick obviously because I was blowing my nose and coughing. Anyways I am just going to get started and show you guys what I loved for March. So the first thing I'll just start off with is a lip gloss. This is by Starlux and I will have the review video coming up pretty soon on that, um, like an unboxing. And I use this in a couple of videos but I really like it because it's this purple color, it's gorgeous. And it is in Pink Oasis which is interesting because it's purple. But it's just a really pretty purple color and I love it and I think it's really nice because I've never had a purple lip gloss so this is pretty great. Um, I love it so it's awesome. And then another lip product that I've been loving is my baby lips. This is in Melon Mania, I think. And I'm wearing it right now. It's just a really nice lip balm. I like this one because it's kind of like a coral watermelon color, which is great for like spring and summer. So I've just been using this a lot and just throwing it in my purse. And it's just a nice, it's just like a nice watermelon color. So I love that because I love watermelon. I've been doing a lot of wing eyeliner lately, which is interesting because I don't usually really like doing a lot of wing eyeliner because I don't think I'm that great at it. But I decided to try it out and it's not too bad and I've been using this e.l.f. liquid eyeliner and it looks kind of like a weird dome shape. But it's really nice because the brush is actually very thin. It's like super thin so you can get a nice clean line just like this. And it's pretty easy to clean up. I mean, it takes me a lot of... I go through a lot of cotton swabs after I do my liquid eyeliner because it gets all smudgy and stuff like that. But I guess the trick is not to close your eye right away after you do it because it will smudge and go everywhere and you will just look really gray. So I don't recommend doing that. So I've been using a lot of liquid eyeliner. I even put this on on camera a couple times this month. So that's pretty great. I have a couple nail products to show you. So the first one is this top coat. And I got this at Walmart. It was like $5 and I was looking for a top coat and I couldn't find a lot because they were kind of sparse on top coats, but they had plenty of nail polish. So I found this one and it is by Nutrinail and I think I've heard of the brand. It is a speed dry top coat and it definitely speed dries. It makes your nails dry really quickly and it's very nice and makes your nails super glossy. I have it on right now over this like purple color. And it also has green tea exionics, if I said that name right. I think so. But I really like this top coat. I think it's awesome. You should try it out at the drugstore and it's very affordable. And then another color I've been wearing, it's not on my nails right now because I switched it, but I have been loving my Butter London Trout Pout Nail Polish. This is amazing. It's the only Butter London one I have because I had a gift card for Ulta like, I don't know, like last year or something. And I decided to use 14 of those gift card dollars to buy this nail polish and I recommend it because it's a gorgeous color and it's pretty awesome. The consistency of Butter London is great. It's very soft. It's very buttery so I love that. And then another nail polish that I just sped through using. I've used this so much lately. It's amazing. I have to get some other kind of mint colors so I'll probably just try another brand. But this is the Revlon Minted. And you can't tell, but it is definitely gone, which is so sad. Tear, I shed a tear for this because I love mint nail polish and I think it's amazing. So let me know your mint recommendations down below. That would be great. So second to last kind of beauty product would have to be this Be Well Hand Sanitizer by Bath & Body Works, obviously B&BW. And it's just a really cute one. It's very like fun and springy. I like the little floral scene on it. It's pretty great. But it's just like a purple one and I've been keeping it in my purse. I think it's almost like my last full hand sanitizer because I go through these things all the time. Like I use them all the time basically when I'm doing my makeup or I touch something dirty obviously. So I just love using this and I think it's just a great product. So go check out the hand sanitizers. You will love them so much. And then my last beauty product would have to be this cooling spearmint and this is a foot scrub. I've been using this a lot on my feet because my feet get really really dry especially like in the colder months and it hasn't been super super warm here lately so I just use this a lot in the shower and it's just 
I think it works pretty good on my feet. It's got like little micro beads, so I was using it and it was only a dollar, so that's a pretty good size for this, so I'll probably have to try some more. Now on to some fashion favorites. So the first one would be these shoes, and they have hearts on them, so you guys would think, okay, they're kind of like, you know, Valentine's Eve, whatever. But I got them and I love these shoes. I think they're really cute and they're super comfortable. I love the little sequin hearts. I like shoes with like little details like that. I just think they're really fun. You could probably like DIY it or something. But these shoes are super comfortable and I call these loaf loafers because they look like loafers. And they're like a velvet but they wash off pretty well. They're super comfortable. They're kind of dirty on the bottom so gross. But I got them at Kohl's and they're very comfortable and I they normally used to be like 30 bucks, but I got them for $4, so score for me, and I got those deals. So I love those shoes. And then my other fashion favorite you guys have probably seen in a video or two, and that is this really pretty necklace. It's like these little crystallized pink beads, and it's just so beautiful, it's on a gold chain. And I think pink and gold look beautiful together. And I got this at Target, and I just really love this necklace. I think Target has awesome jewelry. I'm pretty sure I saw this in somebody's video. So I had to go out and get it, and I think it's awesome. I think it's kind of like a little statement necklace. I probably want to wear it with this top, but it's just a very pretty like necklace, and I love that. Then I have some like food-related random favorites. So the first one would be these Value Pack Protein Chewy Bars by Nature Valley, and they are the peanut butter and dark chocolate. Normally, I am not a big fan of dark chocolate, but when they're mixed with peanut butter, I love them, and you know this girl loves peanut butter like 24 7 not really but these literally taste like a candy bar i could get satisfied eating these over candy bars they are that awesome and that good i think i ate almost every one probably i did they only have 10 grams of protein which is really great and they just taste awesome the box is a little disheveled because my mom was trying to throw it away and i was like no favorites video but you guys should definitely check these out they're very good and I can do a healthy-ish snacks video sometime if you want me to again, because I did one way back. So I could totally like link it down below if you wanted to watch it. Another favorite would have to be Robin Eggs, and who didn't have a favorites video without showing these? Not a lot of people. So these are just the Robin Eggs, and these are the Whopper kind, and they're just malted milk candy with crunchy shells, and they're really good, and I've been using them in like my malts or shakes, and they just taste awesome because I use that Robin Egg shake recipe and it was awesome photo on my Instagram and then the last food drink kind of favorite thing would have to be smoothies and I have one to show you guys because they're amazing this is a peanut butter banana one and I love peanut butter ones and ones with peanut butter and banana I've tried several I tried to make a strawberry banana one the other night didn't turn out so well I don't know maybe because my strawberries were old I guess so but I really love this and they taste so good and once you can make your own, you don't always want ones from the restaurants. I still have to get my own like iced coffees because this girl just doesn't know how to make iced coffee. So if you guys know, help a girl out. But anyways, I really love smoothies and this one's awesome. It's the banana peanut butter one. You just add some banana and peanut butter milk and it tastes awesome and they taste very good for you and I'm using like a natural peanut butter too. So I love those smoothies. Go get you some. I have some YouTubers that I want to talk about to you guys. So the first one is the Sierra Marie Makeup, and she is amazing. Her videos are so good. I saw her leave like a video response to Miss Glamorazzi's video, and her fashion video was so adorable. It was awesome. Her and her boyfriend walking around town, like filming their springtime outfits, and it was just so cute and awesome. So I really love her channel. You guys have to check her out. She's amazing, and you should follow her on Twitter as well. And then you should definitely check out This Is Smiley and Shell because she is amazing. She's one of my favorite YouTubers right now. She makes amazing videos. She's very good at editing and she's very fun and just a happy person. So you guys should check her out definitely and let those girls know that I sent you. Tell them that Bow Beauty 24 sent you to their channels and I would really appreciate that. I also want to talk about a couple of my favorite songs. So the first one is When I Was Your Man by Max Schneider. And When I Was Your Man is currently recorded by Bruno Mars, but Max Schneider is an amazing singer. He has a channel on YouTube. You guys should watch him. He's incredible. He's a great singer, and he did a cover, and I thought it was so sweet and very, like, sad. And oh, it was just amazing, so you guys have to definitely check that out. 
And then I love this song called Fearless Moment by Jasmine Sangriara. And that song is covered by, or it's originally sung by like Christina Aguilera and Pitbull or something. But I love this version so much more. It's done by Jasmine and her sister. And I think they do amazing. Her sister sounds like Cher Lloyd. So definitely check out that song. It's incredible and it's one of my favorites. And I definitely think it's going to be on my summer playlist. And then my last favorite song would be Gold by Brit Nicole. That is an amazing song. It has such a good message. I love it. I haven't listened to her music in quite a while. I heard that in somebody's video and I just fell in love with the song. It's so good. It has a great message. You guys should check it out. So those are all my favorites. I hope you guys enjoy. And you'll see me soon back for April favorites. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I just feel that like $23 is a lot for a candle when you can get like a whole outfit. Well, you could get like a whole outfit at like the thrift store. So, outfit or candle? You decide. Peanut butter and banana goodness. Yeah. I feel like a real beauty guru right now because I have a candle burning in the background. Thumbs up for that. I get a gold star because I have a candle burning in the background. Now it truly is a beauty video. Because I have a candle in the background. Shocker, the candle in the background is not Bath and Body Works. Shh, don't tell anyone. It'll be our little secret.